Welcome back to Fox and Friends. Texas Governor Abbott issuing a new executive order restricting transportation of migrants who may be at risk of spreading coronavirus. Now, Attorney General Merrick Garland is threatening Texas with legal action in a letter to the governor writing, the order is both dangerous and unlawful. It violates federal law in numerous respects, and Texas cannot lawfully enforce the executive order. Is this setting a double standard for COVID precautions? Well, we're going to ask host of Justice with Janine, uh, Justice with Judge Janine, Judge Janine Pirro. Always such an honor to be on with you, Judge. Um, so tell me what you think Good of this. You, this seems like a pretty mild this? thing to say, hey, maybe we shouldn't let illegals with COVID go through Texas. This is the classic showdown between the state and the federal government, as, as well as the fact that you've got the Biden administration that is laying down the welcome mat for illegals. They are literally transporting them. And this pretty much rose out of the fact that they've got COVID-infected illegals. They're laying down the Biden administration, the welcome mat, taking them through a non-government organization, Catholic Charities, to a hotel. They're COVID-infected. They don't have a court date. They don't have a medical appointment they don't have supervision they leave the hotel and then they end up going to a restaurant where they're coughing and sneezing and everybody down there in Texas is saying what is going on right. so the governor of Texas has a very good uh, argument that he is in charge of protecting the health and safety of the citizens of Texas he's not trying to enforce the immigration laws what he's trying to do is prevent COVID infected people from infecting the members of right. his state right and of course this is something that you would think the Biden administration, given that they want to mask up American citizens, would at least be understanding about. And it's still the AG says this is dangerous for Governor Abbott to do that. Yeah. It's crazy. This is crazy town. Yeah, it's completely crazy. And I get it. You know, I'm not I'm not a legal expert like you, but I get it. The feds are in charge of, of immigration um, and our border. But mm -hmm. what I don't understand is liberals had no problem defying the feds when they wanted sanctuary cities. I look at Texas. Texas, again, mild order from, from the governor. Why doesn't Texas just do more? I mean, if any state in the country, Judge, could just say, we're going to do this. I mean, Texas thinks they're their own country, practically. Why can't they just do more? <laughs> Well, why can't Texas do more? I mean, because the federal government wants illegals in the in the country. And that's what this is all about. If they have to stop a governor from performing his lawful duty of protecting the health and safety of his citizens, and, you know, it is evident that they're not interested in the reality, the data, D Dr. Sapphire just talked about it, yeah. you know, then the, the, the end game here is to make sure that we're under, that we have to wear masks masking people in Congress. It's crazy. This yeah. is absolutely crazy. We're going to talk about it this weekend on my show. I'm doing an investigation of the Delta variant. I'm also talking about the fact that what parents need to know by a high-ranking DEA official of how much danger their kids are in with fentanyl crossing the border, a lot of it made in China. Yeah. This is a takedown of America, and we're letting it happen. Well, that's Or the Biden administration is. Well, Justice um, with Janine is always must-see TV, especially this week. Thanks for joining us, Judge. Thank you.